welcome back to the colouring zone my name is Helena and today I thought I'd do a I'm hoping it will be quite a quick video um I just wanted to show you how I use washi tape in my colouring books um so I have got a few so this is the majority of my um collection of washi tape and it is growing because I'm just getting more and more into it so I just need these bits to the side so for the purposes of the sorry about the bank and um, for the purposes of this video um i have sort of like lined them up so you can see what i have um i have got a few more which you'll see in my haul video and i've got some on the way as well and i know that there are a couple lying around um so i do actually use washi tape for other things as well so um i i use it on um, letters or like cards or something I use washi tape to see that um, and I also well recently <laughs> I've been using it to tape wires and stuff to the wall so my son can't grab them um, it's not really very effective because um, he still he still tries he still does it so um, but you know yeah so anyway so there are other ways of other means of using the washi tape but I've been really enjoying using it in my Lulu Mail books and I've also used it in um, Millie Enchanted, Miniature Enchanted Forest. Um, so I am recording a little bit later today. Um, I've got quite a busy weekend ahead so I thought I'd film it on the Friday and try and get it out to you guys on the Sunday, that's my plan. Um, so anyway, so let's get started. So what I was going to do is show you... Oh, I leave this open so you've got something to look at. Um, what I was going to do is I was going to show you a few examples of where I've used it and then I was actually going to do it on camera. Um, so there's a couple of pages that I would like to add it to anyway. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to, to share it with you. So um, yeah, we'll get going. So one of the um, first books that I used it in for my... I think my, yeah, I think it was the first book. So it was A Million Cute Animals. So I used it, I think I've used it in a couple of pages in here. Oh yes, I forgot about that one. Yeah, so I've used it in on this one here. Let me move that out of the way. Um, so I've just used it for the um, ground. Now, um... Lulu Mo's books are lovely, they're brilliant, but I know that water mediums don't really work that well in here, which is understandable because obviously it's not, you know, it's a colouring book and I suppose it's, you know, for markers or whatever, but um, uncoloured pencils. Um, so I just used it to just add a little bit of detail down here. Um, and then there's soft pastels in the background. Now, I used ink tents in one of the Lulu Mail books and it really didn't react very well. So I'm sort of trying to avoid doing that. I didn't use it on that one. So this one here, my attempt at doing like a, a slide, because that's what I thought of when seeing um, this image. Um, so I've literally just got it all down here. And then what other ones are there? Yeah, so it's mainly flooring, really, that I've used it on. Um, but I would like to add it to, like, clothing and things as well. So, um, so yeah, those are a few examples. So, the next um, book is so Miniature Enchanted Forest. So, this is a recent one. So, you are seeing a sneak peek at my completed pages for this month. So I've used it on this one. Now, I just, I think I might have said actually my plans of colouring or something. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to just use washi tape for the background. I just had the urge of doing that. And then on this side, I've also added it, um, but just in certain, in like little places. It was a lot more fiddly. Um, but I'm quite happy with the outcome. It sort of ties in the pages as well. So um, yeah. So there's that one. Now, the million bears. This is also going to be a completed page for July. So you are having a sneak peek. Um, I don't think I've done any other ones in here. So I think it is just this one. So I use washi tape quite a lot on this page. Um, 
So I've used washi tape for the floor, so it's the same green and gold leaf pattern. Um, and then I've also used it here. And then there's also this um, washi tape um, that I've used here, here, and on there as well. Um, I just really like the effect. And actually, you know, it's lovely colouring in, but sometimes having that block space it's just quite satisfying so anyway so there's that one now i was going to show you a few examples of how i do this someone did ask me in the comments how i managed to get around like little details now it is a lot harder um i i feel like um i am quite well equipped because i have this little thing which has got a tiny blade i don't know whether you're going to be able to see that i think i've just knocked the camera loads so i mean it's um it's pretty small. Um, so the page I would really like to add it to, so I'm currently working on this page. So this page here is going, so this is actually a colouring um, tag. I think it's Ren's, Ren's birthday tag. Um, I'm not sure whether she's actually called that on, on YouTube anyway. Um, I'll put it in the on the screen or I'll put it in the description. So what I was going to do is I was just going to add some washi tape to a couple of the triangles. Now, in the other book, it's going to be a bit more, there's a bit more detail. So you can show me doing like a basic version and then maybe like a slightly more difficult one. Um, so I would always recommend having something underneath. Now, I forgot to mention... In the Enchanted Forest, but sorry, if I just move this one here out of the way. In Enchanted Forest, I did have a little bit of an accident where I, was it on this one? Yeah, so it was on here, look. So where I've put washi tape here, which is like a tiny little stem, very, very fiddly. Um, I've actually gone through it, so... I mean, I'm not too worried. It's only a tiny weeny bit. So, you know, I would recommend to really, really practice like with your pressure and stuff. Um, I'm relatively new at it, but I've been doing it, I think maybe since Christmas um, last year. And yeah, so I would just be very, very aware of that. Um, so I'm just gonna go and grab something to put underneath because I'm not organized and didn't bring anything and I will be back. So, I'm just going to put this behind. So, this is like a binding cover thing, so it's actually see-through. And then I've also got a piece of paper. You probably don't need both, but I'm just being cautious um, because I would really like to do the page here. I have got a bit of smudging, and I think it's actually um, from here, which is such a shame. But anyway... Um, I'm still not spraying my pages, so it is entirely my fault. I need to, or put tracing paper there. Anyway, so, so, I was going to do, I think I might do two. Um, yeah, I'm going to do two. So, the washi tape that I, yeah. Right, we'll see how we get on. This could be a complete disaster. You just never know, do you? Right, so... So what's good about it is you can obviously still see the lines underneath. I mean, I can. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that on camera. Oh, see, look at that. It's not even over it. All right, I'm just going to do that. Um, so I don't squash it down because obviously you are wanting to take um, a lot of it up. So, you know, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't bother with that. So I put it over in the other page. I'll talk about it more in my um, completed pages, but I suppose because I this is about washi tape, I'll, I'll mention it now. So in my um, page with the globe, I actually um, tried to put... I was worried that if I put washi tape over washi tape, that it might damage it in some way. Because... I put it in one area and then wanted to put it in the other and obviously to cut round it, I needed, you know, there's a lot of access here. So, um, I mean, I'm being a bit 
generous there. Um, but yeah, so you do have to be a bit careful. But actually, it managed it quite well. And I don't know how it reacts in other books because I've only really done it in Lulu Mayo and also the Mini Enchanted Forest. So um, I'm not sure whether it will be the same for all books. Anyway, so here we go. I normally get a lot closer, but obviously because I'm filming, if I just zoom you in, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing. Right, I'm sorry guys, I don't think the lighting's gonna be too great, but we'll go with it. So I'm using like a firm, well, is it firm? I suppose it is. I wouldn't say it's hard though, because obviously you don't wanna go through the paper. Oh, no, that's coming out quite well. I'm just gonna put that down and then you literally just peel it away. There we go. I mean, it's just like, I suppose it's similar to, um, you know, things like, um, adding gel pen and stuff it is really an accent but i've changed the lighting guys because it just wasn't you know it wasn't it wasn't picking it up very well so hopefully that will help and i'm not too much in the shadow i think that might be a bit better i hope it is anyway here's my squeaky chair as well um so um i'm just gonna do it on this side as well it's actually a lot easier now i can see properly <laughs> it's always good yeah, I almost added it to um, a page in Cute and Creepy and then I realised that I just, uh, I'd, I'd finished the rest of it, the rest of the picture and I realised I didn't actually want it um, around it so I ended up taking it off but I had actually like left an indentation um, which is a bit annoying but you know, it is what it is. So, do you know what, I'm actually thinking I might put it on the, ha on the little doors as well yeah i'm gonna do that just so then it sort of ties in together so if anyone's interested on this page i'm actually using the bambino crayons which i absolutely love um and yeah they're just they're just so fun so much fun i'm really enjoying them sorry guys i was not in shot i do apologize so i've just done these two um, it took me a little while to, to, to realise, apologies. So, this one here, so I'm just going to cut around this. Um, I don't think I've done it as well as the other ones, actually. Let's have a look. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so it's just really fun and it's very quick as well. So the next book is, so this is Seasons by Hannah Carlson. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose this one here for her top. Um, I really like this colour. I'm not sure which colours I'm going to use for the rest of the page, but I really wanted to show you. So um, we're just, we're just going to go for it. So yeah, I think I might, I was thinking I might just go over these, but actually I think I would quite like to, to keep them in mainly because um, she's got them here as well. So I don't want to sort of like take away from, from the details. I could use scissors, but... Yeah, I was always very um, worried about doing this because I was worried that I might cut myself or cut the book. And, but actually, um, it just it just takes it's just taken me a little bit of practice to feel a bit more confident with it. Um, it's fly flat, and it's quite forgiving. And like, if you don't like it, you can just take it back up again. Um, you know, so I'm gonna do, I think, is see, I've missed a tiny little bit there. You're already screaming at the camera saying you've missed it. It's 
So what I'm going to do is just add that there and then a little bit can go on this side for that little bit behind that arm. I really hope I'm in shot. So So I might fast forward some of this because depending on how long it's going to take me. Um, anyway, yeah, so you get the picture. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go around with this. and Hopefully you can see it. Um, I'm going to go this side. I think I'm going to start here. And sometimes it does ruckle up a little bit and it's just a, a matter of just maybe pushing it down with your finger so like that just going the opposite way so then it puts it back in place do you know what i've just oh no i have got something behind have i no i don't i don't have anything behind guys and you can feel where you've gone by just putting your finger over it um, is the best way. <laughs> yeah, I was watching a, um, I was watching a scary film. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, it's actually on Netflix. I think it's called Fear Street. Um, and I really wanted to add some some washi tape onto one of my pages and I would have had to use this and I thought, actually, it's probably a bad idea if you're watching a scary film that might make you jump. So I thought, no, I'm gonna, I need to be sensible. <laughs> Done that a bit, yeah. All right, okay. Now for the really fiddly bit up here. So I'm just going to move the camera slightly.
have hit a thousand subscribers is absolutely amazing i'm so happy and um, i just wanted to really thank all of you and for your comments and for your likes and for just watching my videos really um i feel like i'm still really really new to youtube and hitting a thousand subscribers is just amazing um so with comments and things um i i get myself a bit i read all of your comments every single one um but sometimes it takes me a while to respond and i do apologize for that it's um it is unfortunately just one of those things where um i was sort of like beating myself up about it really and i really can't because unfortunately it's just not something that i'm going to be able to um to change i don't think um my my son is now crawling and <laughs> he's moving around everywhere and it's just i can't i don't when i'm with my son i don't actually really use my phone um, I might watch a few videos, but it's sort of in the background. I don't, because I don't, I don't want him to be, he's so drawn to all electronics. And I know that is because, you know, we're obviously using them. So I'm trying to um, not as much. Um, yeah, I've just got some stuff on there, but that's okay. So you get the general idea. Um, I wasn't shot, that's all good. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've just realised I didn't get that bit. Oh, is it going to... I can just push it in there. There we go. I'm not having to fiddle with it. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with, with how this has come out. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so, do you know what? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Oh dearie me, you can tell it's late can't you, I'm like not with it, I haven't even finished. See, I've peeled it a little bit. It's moved over slightly. There we go. So, it's all good fun. So, it is the next day, guys. So, um, it is a little bit... Well, the lighting's obviously different because it is daytime. So, um, I just thought I'd mention that. thing is that you know you could be more particular about your placement of the pattern but to be honest I'm I I think I'm quite happy with how it looks but that's something that you could do it's like pattern match it reminds me of the sewing bee <laughs> uh, anyway so um so thank you very much for watching um I hope that was useful 
And um, if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I am thinking about doing a video on the Bambino crayons. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in. Um, they're still relatively new to me, but I have been using them more frequently now. Um, so, um, yeah. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.